Tell a friend to tell a friend. That's your boys in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 Next Gen Build video. And today I have a special balance offensive four build for you guys. This build is rare in my opinion, man. You don't see a lot of these builds running around. And the way you have to create the build is kind of rare in my opinion on certain parts. But overall, the build is good and the build will get 20 badges per category. I did that on purpose just so you can live up to the name balance offensive four all right so let's go ahead and put the bill at power four choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice let's get it man but before i go any further you already know what time it is if you don't know now you know it is like button time and i need you guys to go down there and hit that like button get this video to about 50 likes and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet go ahead and do that for you boy boy for this bill i went six foot eight i think on the first one that i created on the channel a while ago it was six foot nine, but I went six eight on this one. Two ten on the waist, seven six wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get into the build. We're gonna go ahead and start with the finishing. And like I told you guys, I do want this build to have 20 badges per category. So I had to kind of finesse it a little bit on the finishing. Some of you may disagree and may want something lower than what I have it, but for the close shot. I do have it at 85, okay? We will be able to get gold fast twitch on this build. I think close shot this year is very important. And if you want to finish good at the rim, you will have some close shot on your build. For the driving layup, we're going to get that up to 80. Now, I did have this flipped around like this. I had a uh, 76 um, close shot. Well, 75, I think. No, I had a 76 close shot and an 85 driving layup. And uh, that's one way you can do it as well. But I did it the other way. And we're going to fix that uh, back how we had it. For the driver dunk, of course, we're going to get that up to an 86. You already know I like to get the driver dunk to an 86. So you can't get limited takeoff on gold, slithery, posterizer, fillers. You, you get everything you need, okay? For the standard dunk, we're going to get that up to a 77. And that will give us 20 total badges for, well, badge points for the finishing. And I did that on purpose, man, so I could give you guys a really, really balanced build. And the badge I will use will have to be limitless takeoff, slithery, posterizer, fast twitch, fearless, rise up. And anything else you want to throw on a bill, you can do it. Once you're able to call a tier three badge, I'm going to let you know now it's going to take a long time for you to call a limited takeoff on gold. So I would advise you guys to core like a posterizer or slithery or something like that. But let's go ahead and get to the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. This bill can't shoot. So what I did was I took the three point shot to an 80, okay? And I took the mid range shot to an 80. Okay, we 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 we're thinking about balance now. You know, you will be able to shoot good. Um, anybody can 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 really shoot on this game, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not that hard to shoot at all. For the free throw, we just have a 60. I like a 60 free throw. I think it does work. I even went down to a 55 on one of my builds and still hit free throws in the wreck. So I know a 60 will work for you guys. But with those 20 badges, you can choose what you want to choose. That's totally up to you. I really don't know how you guys play, so I just like to base things off uh, me going out there trying different badges out. And I know for a fact that Midi Magician uh, does work just in case you want to use that badge because you do have an 80 mid-range shot. We'll use Amp. We'll use Claymore. Go with Green Machine. Corner Specialist. Catch and Shoot. I really don't use Blinders and Dead Eye. You can use those badges if you want to. It's totally up to you. Um, limitless range is a badge that I like, but you know, you just have to shoot from so far back. And if you want to play that way, you can. But me personally, I like to take higher percentage shots. I like to get right up on the line, get in the corner for the easy three or something like that. But, um, you know, that's to, to, to each his own, you know. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody named Mama can see this video. And I need everybody named Mama to see the video. So do that for you, yeah, boy, boy. Now on the playmaking, right? We're going to have an 85 on the ball handle. I want you guys to get gold quick first step. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I did take it up to an 85 to give you guys gold quick first step. For the speed with ball, we took that up to a 74. You can take it up high if you want to. That's totally up to you. I can't remember what uh, number will change the name of the bill, but we just have it at a 74 for this bill. And you have to get the pass accuracy up to at least an 80. And as you can see, we got a lot of 80s on this bill. The mid-range, the three-point, the pass accuracy, and the driving layup, all is an 80. And, uh, you know, the other stuff like driving, dunking, uh, close shot is 80 plus. But we still have a balanced build. And with those 20 badges, once again, I'm telling you guys, we get 20 every category. So with those 20 badges, I will go with Hyperdrive, Ankle Breaker. Uh, you can throw in Break Start if you want to. You do have a good rebound on this build. Uh, quick First Step, um, Clamp Breaker, Handle for Days. 
And I also like Vice Grip too. Those are some of the bags that I would use if I had this build for myself. Keep in mind, you can change whatever you want to change, man, but certain builds have caps, okay? You know, you don't want to change the name of the build, then come back on the channel and say, I told you, uh, I mean, I, I uh, gave you the wrong build or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You have to get in the builder and test this stuff out. Take things up, take things down. Change this, change that, you know, and that way you will know for yourself. But let's go ahead and get into the defense, right? Of course, we want to have some defense on this build, but this is the part of the build to where I say it has the caps, right? So I had the interior defense all the way up to a 75, okay? A 75 would have been would have been good for this build. Um, it's not as high as I would want it because if you take it up high, it will change the name of the build. And we want the name that we have, so I left the interior defense at a 71, okay? And if you hold R1, You'll see that brick wall, post lockdown, workhorse all deal with the interior defense. So those three badges are badges that you do have access to on this build. Now with the perimeter defense, you can't take this up too high. Uh, when I first created the build, I had it like a 78. I don't think you can take it too much higher or else it would change the name of the build. So I just took it down to a 75. Now it depends on you if you want um, minutes at a certain level um, or whatever, that's up to you. But like I said, I took it down to a 75 and I think that's, that's okay, you know what I'm saying? For the steel, we took that up to a 78 because I did want you guys to get um, Silver Interceptor and we get that badge tier two, so that's pretty good in my opinion. But you can't take a lot of this stuff up, man, because it will change the name of the build. That's what I, say, I was saying, man. If the build is rare, 2K is gonna limit you, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't, they don't think a lot of people will create the build if it's a rare build, which I, I agree because everybody want the build that everybody, I mean, everybody want the build that can do everything on the court. Um, no limitations or anything like that, but I don't think you have any limitation with this build. I think this build is legit. So for the block, we're going to get that up to an 87, and that will allow us to get Anchor on Silver. We also get Pogo on Silver, and we get Chase Down Artists on Gold. So that's really, really good in my opinion. So you can go out there and block you some shots. For the rebound, we're going to get the offensive rebound to an 85, and the defensive rebound is a 74. And as you guys can see, we do get, my bad, we do get 23 of them things, man. You know what I'm talking about? So of course, you want to use rebound, Chaser, Clamps, Anchor, um, you can throw in glove if you want to, but it's on bronze, so I would kind of get away from that. But I would use interceptor. I would also use pogo, chase down artists, throw in workhorse, throw in box, and everything else is just icing on the cake if you want to use that brick wall and post lockdown. But look at the combination, man. 20, 20, 20, 23. Not bad at all. For the physical, we're going to get the speed to an 80, acceleration 75, get the strength up to a 6, it's not super high, a vert 75, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these takeovers. So we have shot creating, finishing, sharpshooting, and playmaking. We're just choosing something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of Andre Karolinko, Paolo Bancaro, and Evan Mobley. And the build name is the Balance Offensive 4. That's the build no matter here, man. Charge!